I have hooked up a small LCD array to the maker bit to be run by the micro bit. This is called a 1602 LCD array, 1602 because it has 16 characters on two lines. It's about, they run between five and $10, depends on um, manufacturer make and if they are already put together. Because sometimes they come as a kit to have to wire all this stuff up. Um, this is an I squared, I squared C component, I2C, which is a kind of an electronics communication um, format. And it says I2C right there on the maker bit, which means you need to plug it in there. This is a 5 volt device. It will not run with, well, it will not really display with 3 volts. You'll see some lighting up, but it won't really display. On the back, there is a place to dial up and dial down your array. If you want to change how it's displaying. Um, this is a Grove connector cable. Um, white, um, white ends at both. Uh, so it's got an easy plug in to four uh, connections. Now on this end, I really didn't need the Grove. I could have used just some uh, female jumper cables to mail and then plugged into this white part. Um, on this end, you really do need the, the Grove connector because there's it's a little bit smaller space than um, for female connector ports. Now the code I got going on here um, is this. If I hold the button down, display that, which is a, like a name tag kind of thing. This doesn't work great as a name tag because it's kind of a whole big clunky device. Um, but I'm just playing with it. And then it goes back to saying an original thing I had to say the temperature. And then if I press this button, it says something else. I don't know if you can see that. And that's just the coding that I put into it to make it do that. Um, and if I let go, it goes back to that statement. Um, what else do I need to tell you about that? I'm wondering how big of a LCD array we can get to be powered by these 5 volts. And I'm also wondering how big of an array we could get uh, that would need an external power. And could the code here run it? Um, let's get over to the code. So here is the code. You do have to get the maker bit extension because in the maker bit extension is something for a 1602 for an LCD. And there are the pieces that you can use. Um, so here's the code I used on start, clear the LCD, and then in one forever loop I said, hey, put a string that says the temperature, and you run it from 0 to 15, so that'd be the top row, and then I put is to go from 16 to 18, which is on the second row, and then I asked it to show an LCD number, the temperature, so I grabbed temperature from the input screen here. Um, from characters 19 to 21 and then show LCD string Celsius 22 to 31. You got to make sure your uh, your numbering is good there. You're not leaving blank or overlapping. And then the other thing I did which was different is I used while loops this time instead of using ifs. I could use ifs but I thought I'd try whiles. So while pin 0 is pressed show this LCD. Show these strings. Um, while pin 1 is pressed, show this string. And again, there's a numbering. Show my name on the top row. Show I am a maker on the bottom row. Um, the other one, I didn't care how it went, so I just said, hey, show what do you like to make from 0 to 31. 
Now, that could have been bad if um, it, it cut off a word at the end of uh, end of line. So then I have to go back and tweak. See, sometimes I have to go back and tweak for that. Um, so again, you, you click download. I just covered up the screen. That was silly of me. You click download. And then you go to the downloads folder. And it's coming in. I've got my micro bit plugged in. That's why it's shown up there. Yes, I've played with this seven or eight times from the code and trained different things. You drag and drop onto the micro bit. And then it copies the code over. And it's ready to go. Um, so you've already seen it. You can hear me click and you just see it show up because that's a while statement. While that button is pressed, show that. And again, there is the Grove connector I2C. Make sure you're plugging this device into the 5 volt one because this is a 5 volt device. And then my buttons are on um, A0 and A1. Thank you.